So last night I dreamt that I was at a wizarding conference. Probably the Econ because it's the only wizard conference that I know of. Um, and I ran, um, Mickey Kitty was there obviously. And I ran into her and she gave me a puppy sized elephant and told me I would need it. Next thing I knew, the Lake Econ had turned into my study at home. And I was sitting there at my computer dressed like a complete nerd with like the nerd glasses and everything, eating a bowl of peas, which is really unexpected because. Well, you know, first like bleaky content to my study, which is really unexpected, and I don't like peas, so I don't I don't know why that was in my. Dream. And then um, I'm a, I started dancing and singing, so I must have been like magic peas or something. They made me dance and sing, and dance and sung all the way to Adventure World. And for those who don't know what Adventure World is, it's um it's the only theme park that we have here in. In Perth where I live, so <laughs> yeah, I ended up at um, Adventure Up um, with Luke Connard of all people, and he came up to me and said, Don't worry, I'm a YouTuber, and walked off. And yeah, then I woke up. Yeah, really strange dream. What would Harry do? Um, I totally had no idea what to do for this theme, this topic. But I just started, you know, googling what would Potter do, and I came across some fan fiction, and I've never actually really read any fan fiction before. I mean, I think it was about time I, I found some, since I um, am now engrossed in the Harry Potter fandom. But yeah, I, um, and it's it's like someone's rewritten sort of the book, I guess, or like chapters of the book or parts of the the books um, except as if Harry wasn't in Gryffindor as if it, Harry was in Slytherin so I guess what would what would Harry do if he was in Slytherin um, and I've only read like one of the the bit where they start to make Dumbledore's army and they're practicing Patronuses and stuff and yeah, it's really funny how they describe Harry um, as a Slytherin instead of a Gryffindor. Um, they say that he's very neatly dressed and less sleek hair into like a ponytail as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't can't imagine Harry with long hair. It's really odd. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he would have if he was in Slytherin. I think he's like a good judge of character anyway. I don't think he would have ended up being friends with Draco. In the, in the back of my mind, I hope he never ended up friends with, with Draco if he, if he wasn't a Gryffindor, if he was anything other than a Gryffindor. Um, yeah, and I think he would have taken probably a similar route, but I don't think Harry and Hermione would have been any, anywhere as close to friends as, he, as they were with him um, in the normal stories if he was in a different he was in a different house. So I guess that sort of goes back to what Mishi was saying, like Harry wouldn't have gotten as far without Harry and Hermione and I think Gryffindor played, played a big part in matching them up so no I definitely think the stories would be completely different if if Harry had no bias towards towards Slytherin. Definitely would have ended up different. Um, so I'm looking out for the house this weekend, hence the. Oh, I'm looking out for the dog, really. That's why I have to stay here, because it's the dog. Um, so yeah, and I really should take him for a walk, but it's it looks pretty miserable outside, so I don't really want to go. <laughs> but I'm making another vlog for my personal channel as well while I'm here, since I'm home alone and. Trying to get my creative juices flowing and yeah, yeah. And uh, where is everyone? Where is everyone? It's really upsetting. We've only we've only had like three videos this week. Three? Yeah, three videos this week. Radic, radic. Um, and yeah, Kara, if you're watching this, please. 
get in touch with one of us somehow. I've left you messages on your Tumblr, on your Facebook, um, wherever I can get in contact you, I've left you messages. So, you know, just, just a quick couple of words would be nice. Otherwise, you know, if, if um, you want out, that's totally fine. We'll just need to find somebody else to take Wednesday's spot. So, yeah. But yeah, please, please let us know sooner rather than later because it's a bit upsetting not, ha not having anyone posting on Wednesdays. And if you didn't realise, the story before was my challenge. I didn't actually dream that, but... What else to tell you? What else to tell you? Oh, is this week shout out week? No, it's not. <laughs>